Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of taking classes. Now, right off the bat, disclaimer, I'm using some footage from a class I taught down in Goshen, Ohio, and I have some other classes coming up here soon, so I'm a bit biased towards teaching classes. Oh, there you go, take that with what you will. Grain of salt. <laughs> take everything I say with a grain of salt, if you haven't learned that by, by now. so. The classes and workshops that I have had the benefit of being able to teach always has a good amount of variety of skill levels of Smith. There's new Smiths completely from the absolute beginners all the way up to Smiths that have a great range of skill levels that take my classes. And it's really interesting to take and see that smelting pot of different students and different abilities and skill levels. And what I try to do whenever I teach specifically is I try to appeal to a broad range. So, okay, maybe you might be a little bit more on the skilled side. All right, well, I'm going to require a little bit more out of you as far as perfection of pieces. You're not just going to slug out something half done. I'm going to make you make it perfect. <laughs> if you're an absolute beginner, I just want to make sure that you have the good grasp of the concept of what you're doing, and it's not so much about it being perfect every time you make it, but that you understand what you are doing and what it would take to create or produce a perfect result, and then your skills can develop from there. So it's really important to take and get yourself aligned with a good instructor that is going to walk you through the processes, especially if you are in your early stages of smithing. Getting in those fundamentals and having somebody lead you through those is a really huge help, and it does cut the learning curve off. Um, I've seen I've seen in other places and online forums and stuff. Sometimes you know taking classes, it's that it's that gauge, right? You're like, oh, it's $300 for a class or a thousand bucks to take a class with this person or go here or do that, right? And it sounds like, wow, that's really expensive. But it, education can't be understated. That education is very super important. And because it cuts that learning curve off. So instead of saying it takes you 10 years to develop your skill set to a certain point, right? If somebody could come in and cut out five of those years for you and you learn that same amount that would have been developed in 10 years, but you can develop that in five, that five years of non-struggling is actually an increase to your productivity and what you will be able to reasonably obtain uh, or you know, be able to do in the blacksmithing field because we all have a time clock that's ticking down on our lives. <laughs> it's not counting up. It's uh, it's going away. Every day is one less day that you'll be here with us. Uh, that's just the facts of life. Um, but like that doesn't have to be a drudgery. But again, so that's what you're saving. So you're kind of paying to shortcut that long learning excursion. Now there's certainly people out there who are like, I've been self-taught and I've only been self-taught and never learned from anybody. And they take a certain amount of pride with that. But usually those people who are all self-taught, they've never learned anything from any, they never watched any books or videos or anything like that, which I find kind of hard to believe. But they haven't done anything that they've basically just have created in a vacuum. Usually their skills are really, really underwhelmingly lacking. It just, they're not there, right? They're just not there. They're about like what somebody who has taken a bunch of classes and workshops at three years is. They could be doing it for 50 years, all self-taught, and they're really putting out some crude ironwork. And now that's not a dig against those guys. It's just not necessarily something to kind of, you know, muscle behind and get take pride in. When I first got started in blacksmithing, I didn't know of any classes, workshops, or anything like that. For the first four years, I mean, I did at first, you know, for the first year, I was just trying to find stuff. Then I found Sofa, and then I realized that they had monthly meetings. Well, then I didn't go to any of them practically for the first three years or so. Uh, you know, I'd go to about maybe one monthly meeting a year, maybe, maybe two, <laughs> maybe two. And that was, you know, and that was in that transitional stage where I was like, oh, well, you know, I mean, I can do it. I can learn. I mean, that guy, that demonstrator was, you know, I, pfft, I can do that. And then I'd go home and I could not do that. <laughs> I definitely couldn't. So 
so with that, with that mindset, it really held me back for those first three to four years. And then finally, I got the opportunity. My wife signed me up for a scholarship application to go to Touchstone Center for Crafts, and I learned from a man by the name of Wayne Apgar. Great guy. Uh, I'll put some contact stuff down in the description down below for him if, uh, if I can pull it up there so you guys can see his work there. But that was my first introduction to anything like actual formal education. And I learned more in one week um, in a class of like 12 people. I learned more in one week than I had done in the entirety of four years prior to it, like three and a half-ish years prior to it. And it, it just blew my mind. And after that, that trained me up to say every time, absolutely, if you can, take a class with somebody. If you've got one in your local area, take a class. If you don't know who the guy is, still, take a class. You never know. He might be some, I don't know, genius, right? But take a class. It really does take and help you develop your skills beyond what you can do on your own. I know there's a certain amount of that pride, and again, I kind of had that pride like, I'm just learning it by myself, and I'm just doing things by myself, and I'll figure it out, and I'm smart, and whatever. But I was doing so many things so inefficiently, not necessarily the wrong way, but just in so inefficient that it was taking me forever, and I'm talking eight, nine hours to just do one little measly project. If that's you, go take a class with somebody. Go take a class with somebody. It really will help speed up your efficiency. You'll have somebody to look at you and say, hey, whoa, 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 you're, you're doing that. No, no, don't do that. Do this way. It'll be better for you. And then guess what? If you listen and you apply it, all of a sudden, whoa, it's better for you because you're driving on, you're pulling from somebody else's experience that has already been there, done that. So you've already got, so you're getting wisdom, right, at these classes. So I can't understate the value of them. So without me going on to continuing and making this like a whole rant thing, um, I do have some classes coming up. So if you're interested in those, I will have a link to that. That will be in Goshen, Ohio. I have some classes there that I'll be teaching. I think they'll be really great classes. I've got one coming up just recently, real quick, turnaround time. It's a scroll making class. The next one will be doing floral forms, very similar to the ones that I learned in touch, at Touchstone Center for Crafts uh, with Wayne Apgar, um, but you know my own twist and spin on it. So if you want to do that, and then I got one coming up at the end of November, right around Black Friday time frame for, uh, you know, forging Christmas gifts. So if you can get in on one of those classes and you want to learn from me, that's great. But if you don't, if you can find somewhere else to have somebody teach you and help you along on the process, an instructor, someone who has a few years under their belt, it will greatly, greatly help and improve your smithing abilities. So... That's about all I want to say about classes. Um, I will say this about Goshen. They have a absolute wonderful program down there. There is a lot of wonderful blacksmithing schools and classes now that weren't necessarily there when I first got started or, well, they probably were, but I didn't know about them, <laughs> that there was anything going on um, in the world of blacksmithing. Again, don't create in a bubble. Don't create in a vacuum. Get out there. Expose yourself to various mediums and different techniques and styles of smithing uh, and it will greatly help you so that's it for today i'm going to stop yammering on and ranting and raving about classes and how you should come take a class with me and uh, i'll just ask you if you like the video hit that like button if i earned your subscription go ahead and do that we put out new videos every single week multiple of them in fact and uh, and we do our live stream so i'd like to invite you as well if you made it to this into this video, you're probably a perfect candidate for one of our live streams where we do teaching and instructing right here in the shop and also give away a bunch of great blacksmithing tools uh, to beginners. So that's it for today. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one.